Well, firstly, the gas will be used domestically, as has been set out. In terms of the oil, it gets exported initially, but overall, the UK is a net importer of oil, so much of that makes its way back here. So this, is, I think, is an important thing that's happened today. It's good for energy security. It's good for jobs and investment in this country. And overall, it means lower emissions. Well, firstly, even the Independent Climate Change Committee has acknowledged that we're going to need oil and gas when it comes to 2050, even when we reach net zero. So I think it's important that we protect production. And if you look at what's happening in the oil and gas, it's unlocking investment into things like hydrogen, into things like carbon capture, which we need, again, to reach the green transition. And all of this stuff is already in the budgets. It doesn't change that. We have hugely ambitious targets in this country, more ambitious than any other major economy, and we're absolutely still sticking to those. Let me take this in stages. Firstly, I absolutely think we've got to do the transition to renewables. And that's why the second of the missions that I set out is for Clean Power 2030, which is really difficult. Um, and the reason for that is obvious, but worth just repeating, cheaper bills. Renewables are cheaper. Um, security, so Putin can't put his boot on our throat, and we've seen the effects of that in the last 18 months. The next generation of jobs, which at the moment are going to other countries, not here, and of course our climate obligations. So we will get there. In relation to Rosebank, uh, what we've said is no new licences to be granted when we're in power, but we won't revoke anything that any licences that are granted before we come into power. No bank. No bank. No bank. No bank. No bank. No bank. 